Hey everyone, just gonna run you through yesterday's and today's training. So yesterday I was doing some military press and I went up to 195 for a heavy single and then I did some back off work. So this week I'm kind of just focusing on easing myself back into really hard training and getting some heavier intensities, a heavier, higher average intensity at what I would consider my prescribed volume. So this week is kind of moderately high intensities and moderate volumes and next week I'll be picking up the intensities and the overall volumes. So I didn't show my back off T1 work or my back off T2 work because I'm a dummy and didn't film them for some stupid reason. Um, even though I really want to see and manage what my overhead press form looks like because it's uh, integral to making progress on the overhead press. I noticed that my technique sucks on the overhead press. It, hinders me significantly sooner than any other lift. So you saw at the end there I was doing some pause close grip bench and just really trying to press the bar as fast as I can. This is today doing some deadlifting and today went much much better than I had expected. So this is my prior hook grip PR. You'll see me hook grip these next couple of sets because I am trying to train the hook grip, get better at hook gripping um, because I do notice that uh, it's more secure even when my hands are fatigued. It's just a huge pain and it sucks and it hurts and it hurts because I'm a wuss. So I mean I haven't hook gripped a deadlift in probably two weeks or so. So hitting that 500 right there I feel pretty good with it. Then I did the back off sets. I went to 405 for 3x3. Three three. This is my first set and my hands when I hook grip although they feel more secure I think I just have a harder time pulling fast with a hook grip. Whereas with a mixed grip, I could just crank on it and it'll fly. So you'll see the difference right here because I get the first rep with the hook grip and then my thumbs just felt like absolute murder. So I switch it and you'll see the second one. And you'll see the speed difference between the first and the second. I think that it's small, but it's manageable. Um, it's a little bit more consistent. My form might be a little bit better. Granted, the first with the hook was pretty quick. But the two follow-on ones were faster than the two follow-on ones for my first set, if that makes sense. At least it felt that way. It might not look that way on camera. This third set, all mixed gripped, was beautiful because I didn't bother with the hook grip at all. And on the third set, I realized, you know, it's pretty light, so let's just play around with the weight a little bit. Um, deadlifting is going really well. I'm looking forward to competing in October. I'll be pulling as a conventional deadlifter, whereas before I was pulling sumo. So the conventional pull is kind of my baby right now, and I'm going to keep training it as hard as I can. And hopefully, I'll be working myself really close to that 600 at 165 in competition. So after those 405 for 3x3, three three, and that little bit of fun time at the end on the last set, I brought it back down to 315 right here and I did it for six and again just trying to crank on these as hard as I can maintain that that bar speed and just try to put as much force into the ground as possible so like I said I'm just kind of easing way into hard training and next week you'll see me squat um, hopefully I'll be getting up to somewhere in the low fours for a single and then some back off works and then likewise for my bench I'll be training the slingshot again starting next week. I haven't trained slingshot in probably a month or so while I've been on leave and a little bit while I was in Afghanistan. I think the last week I didn't touch it. So I'm excited to get back into the slingshot work. My elbows are feeling fantastic now. Taking that long block of leave and barely training at all really helped heal me up quick. So I'm feeling good for the competition in October. Thanks.